you guys, it's Ruby, and today we are staying at the Palazzo. This review has been much anticipated. We've gotten so many requests. I can't believe we haven't stayed here yet, but we're on the 44th floor. This is a standard king room. Let me show you around. So if you don't know already, the Palazzo rooms are all suites. If you book a standard room, you are getting a suite. This is called a luxury king room. It is 720 square feet, bigger than the Venetian tower. These rooms are gigantic. When you first come in through the doors, past the hallway, you come into the bedroom area. This is the upper part, huge king size bed. There's room for a chair and two big end tables. And then you also have a huge TV right by the bed with its own little dresser underneath. And that is just the bedroom area. Down our little flight of stairs is the sunken living room. And this really is a full living room. You have a sectional sofa behind us. It's got plenty of space. Table and chairs here if you wanna dine. They even have a desk, another TV. Underneath that is the mini bar. There is no personal fridge, but the flow of this space is incredible. We have a strip view. We see a lot of beautiful mountains. We can see the pool. We can see the fashion show mall and Treasure Island. Overall, I can't stress enough the amount of space. Kind of an understated theme. They've done a really good job with it. Here we have the gorgeous bathroom. Another TV in the corner so you can watch it while you take a bath in the deep soaking tub. Separate shower, dual vanity sinks, as well as a separate vanity to do my makeup and get ready. And then you have the water closet. It's really big in here, mirrors everywhere, really good lighting, a beautiful bathroom. All in, very impressed with this room. Now we've stayed at the Venetian before and the Palazzo is its own separate tower with entirely different amenities. So we have an entire day planned with completely new things to do. It's about a hundred degrees outside right now. So first things first, the Palazzo has its own pool deck and I am dying to check it out. Made it to the Palazzo pool deck. There are seven pools here. Some of them are closed off today. We're at the big main pool. One thing I will say, it's like 1 p.m. and there's still not full sun. So if you're interested in shade, there are definitely shaded areas over here. Now, Palazzo does have its own entire pool deck. It does connect to the Venetian pool deck though. If you do wanna go swimming over at the Venetian side, I will say I vastly prefer here at Palazzo's side. These chairs are so luxurious. These are some of the best pool towels I've actually ever seen in a Vegas hotel. And the foliage and the relaxing music, it's just giving a very relaxing area to lay out and enjoy the sun. Just got back from the pool. It was busy. It's very lively for a weekday. We are gonna get changed and head downstairs because we have so much more to explore. We need to check out the casino and we have a really fun activity plan for later. So as I stated, the Palazzo is another tower inside the Venetian and it has all of its own things, including a casino. Now the Palazzo Casino is nice because even though it's still lively in here, it's a little bit less busy. 
so it's easier to get on your games, it's easier to move around. It's a little smaller than the Venetian's Casino, but there are still a ton of games in here. Lots of variety. They have their own high limit room here as well. Tables behind me, we're looking at $15 blackjack, $25 for roulette, and for craps. The pit boss did tell me it's been busier, so that's why the prices are higher today. Overall, it's an absolutely stunning casino, and I like that we are still in the Venetian. It's easy to walk that way if we want to be in the action, but we have our own little quiet area back here. Time has really gotten away from us. We are starving, you guys. Now, inside the Palazzo, lots of dining options. You have Mott 32, Lavo, heard great things about both of those, and Wakuda just opened up. I definitely wanna check that out. I know you guys love a good happy hour deal, so we thought we would come here to the Grand Canal shops. We are going here to Brera Osteria. Let's check it out. So here at Brera Osteria, they have an aperitivo menu. It runs from three to five. You're gonna find half price drinks and they also have a little menu of bites and pizzas. I really like where this is located in the Grand Canal because you're right by the stage where they have little performances and singing, it's really cool. I ordered an Aperol spritz off the happy hour menu and we ordered a few bites. So we got the meatballs, they were exceptional. The bread, this is called the Reggiano Fonduta. Wow, it comes with this like rich cream sauce. That was delicious. We also got some olives. So far, all of the apps and the stuff that we ordered off the happy hour have been really delicious. We got our mains. We have got the beef tenderloin. It was delicious, rich, tender with a chimichurri sauce. The chopped salad, which had chickpeas and salami, really refreshing. And the mushroom risotto. You know we're suckers for that. Creamy, there was peas, there was cheese. Overall, very impressed with the food. We liked everything we ate, and having dinner in a show was a really nice touch. Finished up our dinner at Brera. It was awesome. I really recommend it. The happy hour was a great deal. While we're in the Grand Canal shops, we gotta talk about what a great perk this is. It connects Palazzo to Venetian, and on your way, you're gonna find awesome shopping. There's great dining, there's entertainment, including Atomic Saloon, which is a show that I highly recommend. It's a Spiegel World show, and it's awesome. Seriously, there's so much to do just in here, including awesome photo ops, and the iconic tourist destination, which is the gondola rides. We've never done it before. It may be time to change that. All right, we made it into our very own gondola ride. These are a ton of fun. We just set it on the indoor version. Now it's $34 if you do four people or 136 for a couple. You kind of just go around the whole Grand Canal shops, you get to see people, kind of people watch while you're cruising around in the water. So we've never done it before. I have to say, if you've never done it before, it's kind of a must do. You should definitely check it out. Now when it comes to nightlife here at Palazzo, Electra has actually made my best bars and lounges list. On weekends they have live DJs. It's essentially a nightclub, but they have chairs. However, I have never gotten to try Rosina and it's been on my must try list for so long. It's a champagne lounge. Really excited to try it out tonight. I'm gonna take you with me, let's go. We got seated here at Rosina Bar. This is a really intimate little lounge. Now, they did have a press for champagne doorbell. Uh, they told me it doesn't do anything, but I feel like I need a champagne doorbell in my house. So they have champagne themed cocktails. I got the Jimmy Roosevelt. This is Hennessy, green chartreuse, and champagne. They have a full cocktail menu. They also have obviously great champagne here. So we're having a good time, it's a lot of fun, and uh, we're gonna enjoy some drinks and end the night here. Catch you guys in the morning.
grabbed some Starbucks for breakfast right downstairs, and now we are getting ready to check out. As always, we will start by talking about our room. We were comped our room through a slot host who contacted us for our gambling, but on a weekday, you can get these rooms as cheap as 200 to 250 all in with taxes and resort fees. However, if you look at the rate calendar, the prices fluctuate really wildly. I would say for that price point in the high-end price category, you're getting a lot of space, which I think does translate to a lot of value because these rooms are huge. I really can only compare it to our stay over at Venetian. I don't know if we just had a really bad room over there, but the difference is night and day. And these don't cost much more than staying on the Venetian side. So I would recommend it tenfold, even having the quieter lobby, the quieter casino that you walk through. I just liked everything about it so much more. I even like this pool area more. Overall, we just had a really nice stay and I really enjoyed Palazzo. I'm glad we finally did come to try it and I can comfortably recommend these to you if the price category is in your budget. I do think you will really enjoy this one and I know that they treat people with their rewards really well if you are a gambler and you gamble here over at Venetian Palazzo. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys all in the next one.